Some kids like to talk, and they can have a hard time remembering that they need to let other people have a turn to speak, and they need to take time to listen. I'm Nathan with Kids Enjoying Jesus, and I want to show you how you can use a magic wand to fix that problem for some kids. Some kids are just talkers. Adults, too. It's just a part of who we are. It's not necessarily an attempt to be disrespectful or disobedient, but some children have a hard time remembering, oh, I need to let other people speak every once in a while, or oh, I should remember to raise my hand like the teacher told me to. Go to the dollar store and buy a magic wand. If your dollar store happens to not sell magic wands, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what kind of town are you living in? Don't worry, you can still make your own. Just take a stick and put some fun colored ribbon at the end of it to create your own magical wand. And then before you start teaching, show the magical wand to the children and tell them that today in our class, I'm gonna be watching whenever I ask a question or whenever someone wants to turn to speak, they have to raise their hand. And if they remember to raise their hand, I will use my magic wand La 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 la, bing! To allow them to speak. So if you raise your hand, wait until I la 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 la, bing! Or whatever noise you want, ba boom! Give you permission to speak, and that will mean it's your turn. So only use the magic wand on kids who remember to raise their hand. Now obviously this won't work well on all kids, especially fifth grade, fourth grade boys. But younger kids, especially little girls who happen to be really fascinated by princess movies, I'm not a big fan of some of those movies myself, but I'm learning to just let it go, let it go, and use their interest in that type of thing uh, to my advantage when I teach. So, magic wands, they're a tool you can use. If the kids raise their hand, bing, they can be given permission to speak. And you don't have to instantly give them all permission to speak. Oh, five kids raise their hand, bing, 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 bing. The whole point is you're helping them learn to remember to raise their hand and wait to be called on. If they forget to raise their hand, oh, Fred, Remember, you've got to raise your hand and wait to be called. And some little boys probably won't like the whole bing noise. If they don't like it, you can tell them you're gonna give them a fist bump, ba-boom, and then they have permission to talk. So remember to raise your hand, Fred, and I'll give you a fist bump, ba-boom, and then you can speak. Little girls in the preschool, kindergarten, first and second grades, and even younger boys that age will think this is a whole lot of fun. And it helps them remember to raise their hand because if they just start speaking, they don't get the dun -dun 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 bing noise and that's just a whole lot of fun. They don't get the magic wand. So it helps them remember, oh, I raise my hand and bing! Yes, Gillian, what was it you wanted to say? And if Fred forgets to raise his hand, oh, Fred, 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 hold on just a second. Remember, I've got my magic wand. You need to raise your hand first. Okay, I see your hand. Now you need to wait your turn. And in a few minutes, whenever I'm ready, I'll use the magic wand to give you permission to speak. This is just a fun way to help kids, especially little kids, learn to raise their hand and wait their turn before speaking. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website, kidsenjoyingjesus.com. We upload new content every week to help you have fun sharing the love and joy of Jesus with kids.